Welcome to the W3 Schools CSS Image Opacity or Transparency tutorial. Creating transparent images with CSS is easy. We just use the opacity property from CSS3. This is a regular image and this is the same image with transparency. Let's look at the code. All major browsers use the opacity property for transparency. The opacity property can take values from 0, 0.0 to 1.0. A lower value makes the element more transparent and a higher value makes the element less transparent. Internet Explorer 8 and earlier versions use filter alpha opacity. This can take a value from 0 to 100, where 0 is full transparency and 100 is no transparency. For these images, we've used the pseudo class hover to change the transparency when you mouse over the images. Let's look at the code. The first CSS rule is very similar to the code in example 1. In addition, we've added what should happen when a user hovers or mouses over one of the images. In this case, we want the image to not be transparent when a user hovers over it. CSS for this is opacity equals 1.0. For Internet Explorer 8 and earlier, it's opacity equals 100. So when we mouse over the image, it's not transparent. But when the mouse pointer moves away from the image, the image will be transparent again. Let's try and change the values. Set the default to not be transparent. And when we hover over the image, it's very transparent. Like this. Here is some text placed in a transparent box. The source code looks like this. First, we create a div element with class equals background. We set this to a fixed width and height. So the background image these flowers and a border. Then we create a smaller div inside the first div element. We set this class to transbox for transparent box. That's a fixed width and height, a margin, a white background color, a border, and it's transparent. Inside the transparent div, we have a p element with some text in it. But the text is a bit hard to read, so let's make the transparent div a little less transparent. Now the text is easier to read. This concludes our tutorial for CSS image opacity or transparency. Thank you for watching.